Hey everyone, it is Brittany from The Pretty Plus. Uh, today I am going to be showing you my bra strap, apparently. Anyway, today I'm going to be showing you my empties from the last few months, so just crunch them under my arm. Anyway, um, I'm going to be showing you my empties from the last few months. Um, if you're unaware of what empties are, they are empty videos, are when you show your trash to strangers. Um, really they are just me showing you things that I've used up, um, mostly skincare t and hair care type of stuff because that's what you go through most often, but a few makeup products are probably in here. I have this big bag of them and I, I've been saving these up for just a few months, but there, I know that actually there's a few in here that I've had in, in this bag for a while. Um, but I lost this bag when we moved to the house and when I finally found it, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to start putting things in here again. So there's a few from before we moved here and then there's a few, a lot of them are from the last month or two, probably two months. Anyway, I'm gonna get into it because I don't wanna make this too long and there's a lot of stuff in here. So I will talk briefly about each one. If you have specific questions on how I felt about a product and want me to go into more detail, please let me know. And I will do an in-depth um, review of it on theprettyplus.com. So I'll get started. These videos can be kind of long, so I'm really gonna try to get through it very quickly and without being super annoying. So. I have a lot of face wipes in here. These were all on the top. There might be more in there, I don't know. But I have the LA Fresh Travel Light Makeup Remover Wipes. I got these in a, one of my subscription boxes. And they were the mini wipes. There were eight of them in here. And I really, I really actually liked these. They felt really fresh and um, nice on my skin. Um, I kept these in my purse and used them all up and so now they are gone. Oh no, I just threw that inside my couch. Bummer. Anyway, L'Oreal Revital Lift Radiant Smoothing Wet Cleansing Towels. These were really good. They are like, I don't remember the cost at the store. They were like 10 bucks or something like that but I didn't pay that I got like some CVS coupony type of deal of course and I got them for basically free I think so I don't know if I would buy them if they're actually 10 or 13 dollars like I think that they are if they're that cost I probably wouldn't purchase them again because there are better ones for around that same cost but I did really like these they were good and they smell good I can still smell them. They're actually really, really fragrant. That's, I remember them. They're really, really fragrant. So that could kind of throw you off. But I liked them and they didn't break my skin out. And they have pretty sensitive skin. So I just keep throwing these things in my couch. Anyway, I didn't like this one. That is Bloom Naturals. The It says it contains organic cucumber and aloe vera extracts. Um, they I got them from the TJ Maxx for like four bucks. And they felt really dry from the minute that I opened them. I ended up using them mostly for, like, wiping off lip stuff if I just needed to get that off really quickly. Or if I was doing swatches on my hand, I would wipe those off with it. The thing that I really liked about this is this uh, open thing. Because this one, this was all ripped. I ripped it on accident, which is user error. But this one is just so nice. You just unclick it. But it, it didn't really help keep it more fresh because these ones were really dry in the first place. Moving on. I just felt like Assy Button wrapping it up. I'm not doing I'm not doing that. I'm not stealing that. I'm just saying that that's how I felt. Anyway, Copper Tone Sport. What is this? Sunscreen. I burn really easily because I'm super fair. And um I just keep showing my bra strap. Um what was I going to say? Uh, I used this in the summer when I went to the pool or whatnot. And this is SPF 30. It is supposed to stay on strong even when you sweat for like sporty type of stuff. But it stayed on pretty well for the water. It's water resistant for 80 minutes. Um, I never got really burnt this summer. So I'm assuming this was a good product. I feel like I'm just Mary Poppins over here pulling everything out but 
lounging now. Um, the L'Occitane Lavende, uh, the hand purifying gel. Uh, this, I didn't like this. Uh, it was really inconsistent, like literally the consistency sometimes would be really runny, sometimes would like come out in like little clots of clear hand gel. Um, I just didn't like it. It creeped me out a little bit, to be honest. And uh, I can't believe that I actually used it all. So uh, I wouldn't get this one again. Not at all. Just in case you were looking into buying a, a high-end antibacterial hand gel, don't do that one. Anyway, my ever-so-loved L'Oreal Ever Pure shampoo and conditioner. I have the Volume Shampoo, which is Rosemary Juniper and the moisture conditioner, which is rosemary mint, and these are fire, fireworks on my hair. There's a no harsh salts, anti-fade system, UV filters, all the good stuff that you want in your head. Um, that's just, it's a really good shampoo, and it's pretty uh, cheap. It's at the drugstore, and I highly, highly recommend. Where's another hair product? Oh no. Okay. Here's another shampoo. This is the Euphora Pure Cleanse Shampoo. I got this from my stylist um, here in Indianapolis. She gave this to me for free because she had me waiting for an extra long amount of time. And we had talked about this and we were talking about how my scalp is really dry and she recommended this one. I really regret trying it because it's $27 for this bottle if I buy it from my salon. I'm not sure exactly the price if you buy it on like Amazon. I'll make sure to link that up um, below or and on my blog. Uh, breathe. Sometimes I just start talking too fast, but this is really good stuff and it smells really good and I liked it a lot. I like it better than the L'Oreal stuff, but the L'Oreal stuff is like 5 to 10 dollars for a bottle and this is 27 so yeah, it's pricey I didn't buy it so next rain kissed leave shower gel by Bath and Body Works their signature collection this one I really liked it smelled like a shower it smelled really fresh and so I enjoyed using it it was just very showery and very gel like Um, big, the sea salt shampoo by um, Lush. <laughs> Brain fart. Um, it smells salty, but it's because it mainly is a salt. And I really like it because I massaged it into the front of my head, and it got all the dry skin that I suffer from off of the top of it. I use it like as an exfoliant on my scalp. It feels really nice. It's kind of expensive too. It's like. 25 or 30 bucks for this stuff but it lasted me for a long time because I didn't use it um, every single time so I used it for you know two or two or three months I don't remember there is an expiration I think it only says to use it for two months and I think I used it for three but it didn't do anything wrong to my head so I'm I'm, I'm still alive guys okay Moving along, this is the Flake Away Body Polish by Soap & Glory. Soap & Glory, as you guys probably know, is one of my favorite brands. Their stuff smells so good, and I like to use all their stuff in the shower. If you were to look in my shower right now, which you won't look in my shower right now because you're not here and that would be creepy if you were, but if you were looking look in there, there's probably like four or five products in there by Soap & Glory, and there's more in here. Aha! There is a Righteous Butter. Um, the body butter in here. I had a big one and I used it all and I must have just thrown it away. Oh. That's just some good stuff. Anyway, um, the Youth Code Youth Regenerating Skin Care Foaming Gel Cleanser. Oil free by L'Oreal. I really like this stuff. This has like the film on it from my old apartment where they had the worst water ever. Hard water. And um, anyway, I like this stuff for the shower. I haven't repurchased it yet because I've been using up some samples that I've been getting, but this is really good stuff and I'll probably get it again. I really liked it for the shower specifically. 
the next one. <sighs> womp womp. This one's a bummer. Um, the Remove Plus um, Nail Polish Remover. It's a polish remover, nail cleanser, and nail prep by Zoya. I hate this stuff. It actually smelled really, really repulsive to me, and I would feel physically ill. I mean, literally physically ill every time I use this stuff. And um, the, the main reason I wanted it is because it was pretty hyped up. I have a thing around it. It was pretty hyped up and uh, on like YouTube and stuff, and so I got it. And, yeah, the smell, I just can't get over the smell. It worked pretty okay. The smell to me made me sick, so I, I can't get over that. But I did like the bottle, like a push down one. And since I've shown this, I might just put some of my regular stuff in this bottle. I mean, might as well, it'll work, so. Yeah. Don't, I, I didn't like it. If you're a really sensitive smeller, nose, then I wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, hope in a jar. SPF 25. I hated this stuff too. <laughs> it uh, was really, really hyped up on YouTube and blogs again. Um, I think it's just way more mature than people were letting on. I do not like the smell of it. That's the main, main thing for me. But it didn't do anything great for my skin. It felt really greasy on my skin and I have pretty dry skin so that was a weird occurrence to me. Um, if you like it, I'm sorry. Don't be offended. I really cannot stand it. I used the whole thing. This thing was like 10 or 15 bucks or something like that. And it wasn't worth it to me. We're hitting the home stretch, guys. I think that's a baseball term. I don't know. Er, no. Probably not. <laughs> I think it's racing. Anyway. Um, this is the Novex Extra Deep Hair Care Cream, and I had never heard of this brand. I still haven't heard of it besides just holding it just now. Um, it was a conditioner, and it was a good sample size, but I would never buy it again because I don't know the brand still. Next, oh, some Back to Mac stuff. I just depotted um, three of my Mac eyeshadows to put into my palette. Uh, barefoot, Sable, and Jaunty. Jaunty is like my favorite. Moving on. Another beep little Loxitan. This is a uh, hand cream. I really like their hand creams. They're really moisturizing. You don't have to use very much of them. Um, they're like $12 for like the regular size, which is like this size. I don't know what that is. But I really like them. Not much to say about that. Oh, golly gee, looky here, my favorite mascara. Um, the Lancome Definicils. This is still, no, it's really dry. Um, this is my favorite mascara. I've gone through 75,382 of these, and I really love it, so yeah, I'm empty. Hello by Harvey Prince. I usually guess I don't go through many of these and this was a little more than a regular sample is um, but I did repurchase this so this is probably why I put it in here I really liked the scent I bought it on I got it in a birch box I bought it online from birch box as well and Mary Kay Timewise night solution I really liked this stuff I didn't repurchase it because I couldn't stand my Mary Kay person she was really annoying so if you are one of my friends, like local friends, and you sell Mary Kay, let me know because I'll probably buy some Timewise from you. And the last thing in this bag is a little, little dropper of Josie Marin Argan Oil. And I like this stuff. I remember being like, man, I want to use this. And so I put it on my elbows every single night until it was gone. And there wasn't a lot in here, so it was gone in like two weeks. But it felt really good. And I don't know if I'd buy it again. I'm not really an oil type of person, but I actually did like this oil. So I would consider purchasing this again, but I haven't yet. So anyway, that's the whole lot of it. That's everything that I've used up that I could remember to put into that bag to tell you guys that I've used up. And uh, let me tell you... 
I'm glad that I can throw this trash away and my husband probably thought it was really weird that I was keeping all this trash anyway so he's probably glad that I'm gonna throw it away I'll link everything below or at least I'll put a link to theprettyplus.com below and on my blog I will have a list of links you can probably click on them and they'll tell you exactly where to buy them from or suggest a place to buy them from anyway I'm done I'm done talking, I'm done showing you my trash, but I hope that you guys really enjoyed this empties video. I'm sure there will be another one in the future. Uh, I hope you liked it, because if you didn't, I'm probably still going to do it because they're like my favorite videos to watch, so of course I like to film them as well. Uh, sayonara, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.